Today's video is a really fun one because I'm bringing some lifestyle into my channel and today I'm showing you guys my current morning routine but it has a little bit of a holiday flair to it which is really exciting because I love the holiday season. Today's video is really special because I get to partner with one of my favorite mobile game apps and that is Jam City's Panda Pop. They're doing this huge Grinchmas takeover right now and I love it and also Joel loves it too because that's his favorite movie for the Christmas season is The Grinch. He loves Jim Carrey, so we have to watch that every single year. But I am so excited to be partnering with them in this video because I am truly obsessed with that game. And especially if you guys have been on my channel for a while, you know I love game apps, I love video games, I'm a huge gamer. It's kind of like my stress relief. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop blabbering so that way we get into my current morning routine with some holiday flair. All right, so every morning I spend with my puppy dogs in bed and I always just go ahead and grab my phone. I check any text messages or any emails that I miss throughout the night and that I have to get back to right away. And of course, pet little Ollie. Look how cute he is. After I check my emails and my texts, I just get out of bed, give the doggy some love, and then I head right into the kitchen. And of course, I have to have some coffee. All right, so comment down below and let me know if you guys do this too, where if you just smell the coffee, it like instantly wakes you up. I don't even have to have a sip first, I just have to smell it. But after I get my coffee, I just light a candle because honestly, it just sets the mood for that whole morning. And then I just get settled in on my chair and every single morning and honestly also every single night as a stress relief to kind of like keep my mind off of everything else is I usually am playing a game. And you guys know, I'm a huge gamer. I love games, especially on the phone because it's a little bit more convenient. And right now I am obsessed with Panda Pop. And what is so exciting is that it's actually being taken over by the Grinch until January 4th. So if you guys are Grinch lovers, just like Joel and I, then you definitely have to download this game. So all month long, you can play Grinch themed player versus player races, boss battles, etc., to help Mama Panda save Christmas, which Mama Panda is so cute. And you just save little baby pandas from the evil baboons. And Panda Pop is the perfect game to pick up this holiday season. It's free and available for you right now in the App Store or Google Play. And if you are just as addicted to the game as I am and play every day, you will unlock fun prizes, including a new costume for Mama Panda and the Grinch's daily gifts from December 19th to December 25th. When I get done beating a few levels, I head to the kitchen and today I wanted to make a fun panda inspired breakfast. So basically just some pre-made pancake mix with this little pancake like squeezer thingy to make the faces. And then I just took the nose, the ears and the eyes and covered it with Nutella. And I cut some grapes up for the eyeballs. And you guys, this thing was so cute. I will also link down below that little squeezer for the pancakes. It made it really easy to make the face and it turned out so adorable. And also it was really delicious too. Oh my gosh, I've never had to tell before and mind was blown. And boom, we are in my makeup room. So since this morning routine is like really holiday theme, like I love this, I'm like feeling for the holidays right now so much. And also I'm very inspired by Panda Pop's Grinchmas. So I was like, you know what? Instead of doing a very like, you know, natural everyday look, as you guys know, I've been really branching out on my channel and trying more dramatic looks. And so let's use this time to create a really fun, maybe like reddish green look, kind of Grinchmas inspired. And I also have a lot of really like fun palettes too that I really wanna jump into, like this Pat McGrath one, this green is so pretty. How gorgeous would that be? And then plus this Cap on D one with this side, you have the green, you have the red. There's so much that we can do that's really fun and festive and just a little bit out of the box. Let's just go ahead and play with some fun green and red eyeshadows. Let's see how I do this. <laughs> All right, so first off, I'm gonna prime my lids using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I've been using this to prime my lids lately, and I really, really love doing this. I honestly, it reminds me a lot of my Benefit Stay Don't Stray eyeshadow primer, but instead of having to repurchase that, I've just been using this. All right, so I'm gonna be jumping through palettes and I'm gonna go into this shade right here. This is from the Marc Jacobs Holiday Palette, the wild one, that's what it's called. Not the shadow, 
the palette's called the wild one but I love love Marc Jacobs eyeshadows they are so creamy so blendable and just gorgeous easy to work with so I'm just taking that cream just to dust this and set my concealer there this allows me to be able to blend everything out really easily. So I don't really know how I'm going to create this look, but I'm gonna try it, because that's, that's the fun thing with makeup. Now we're gonna go into the shade right here. This is just a transition shade that we're gonna use to help blend out the bolder colors I'm gonna be using later on. This will make everything a lot easier. I'm just going to put this into my crease and just blend it out. That shade is very pigmented. Boom, it's like there. Okay, so I like the red in this one a little bit more than in the Cap on D one. The Cap on D one is a little bit more of a sheen red. This one's more of a matte burgundy, I wanna say, and I think it will go really pretty with that green. So I'm just gonna take this and start focusing this lower in the crease and not bring as high up because I want that gradient to still be there. All right, so that was very easy to blend. Now we're gonna go back into the same concealer. We're gonna put this back on our lid and we're just gonna clean up that lid because I brought it down a little bit lower. And I always do this to really carve out the lid. All right, now we're gonna go back into that same cream shade from the Marc Jacobs palette and I'm just gonna set that primer once more. All right, so here is the fun part. We are going to add green to this look. This is the green that I really want to use from the Pat McGrath palette. And then this is the green from the Kat Von D palette. All right, so now we're going into this beautiful palette from Pat McGrath and oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Just a really like nice extra palette. I mean, it's not for everyone, but it's something just fun to have in your collection because it's very different from everything that I have. And this green is so pretty. So I'm going to use that one and I'm just going to place this one all on my lid. I think this is gonna need Mac Fix Plus. All right, so instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Immaculate and I'm gonna use this one as a base. And then we're gonna go in with the Pat McGrath to create more dimension. dimension. Gosh, I can't talk right now. I'm just gonna pack this onto the lid. Honestly, we could leave it at this green, but I really wanna do the green from Pat McGrath. All right, so now time for some Mac Fix Plus. And then we're going into that really gorgeous shade from Pat McGrath. And I'm gonna press this on the, oh yeah. Oh. So pretty. Okay, so now for the crease, I'm thinking that we should do maybe a deeper color. And what I'm thinking is I'm gonna go into this Pat McGrath one. I was thinking black, but I think I'm gonna start with brown, see how this goes. If it needs to be a little bit deeper, then we'll go into the black. Remember, we're just winging this. <laughs> we're just winging this. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of a concentrated brush and I'm gonna go right into the crease and just blend out these edges. I'm gonna keep it low. All right, so now it's time to clean up these edges. I'm gonna go into my Glow Minerals Concealer. I love this stuff to clean up my edges. I just take this and then I just line it up to where it's going to meet with the end of my brow. So you can see it gets a little bit messy, but I always am able to clean it up. All right, so you can see how that just really cleaned up the look, it makes it look so much better. You could also use tape. You could also use a makeup wipe if you don't have your foundation on already. I just love, I'm okay with using concealer. Concealer seems to work just fine for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the other eye. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and try out this mascara for the first time. This is the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. I've never tried this before, but oh my gosh, I love wands like these because I hate it when my lashes clump. I'm actually going to be skipping a wing liner right now. <laughs> I wanna see how it looks with just lashes first and if i don't like it then i'll just add a wing all right so next up i'm gonna put on some lashes i actually just grabbed these from my bathroom and i'm pretty sure they are the correct matching lashes because i have a whole pile in my bathroom and like half the time i wear them once and they just sit there but i just put them in a big pile and i'm like i don't know which one goes with what but i know these are eyelur i'm thinking these are the boudoir no barog barog lashes. I think they're those or the Crazy Ray Ray ones. I'm not entirely sure. 
but I'm gonna pop these on real quick and I'll be right back. All right, so lashes are on. I really like the way that this look is like really turning out. This is just turning out really pretty. Yes, okay, so now let's go ahead and do the bottom lash line. We're gonna skip the red on the bottom lash line just because I'm afraid that it's gonna make my eyes look like, like I have pink eye which would be not cute. All right, so on the bottom lash line, I'm gonna go into this shade that we use for our transition shade right here. Knock off that excess and then just kind of press it and then smudge it out. Now we're gonna go into Immaculate from Kat Von D and I'm gonna use this green first and we're just gonna focus this on the outer corner of the eye. Next up, I'm gonna go into the brown shade right here, and this is in that Pat McGrath one. I keep wanting to call it Mark McGrath. I don't know why. All right, so for the inner corner, I'm gonna actually use my one of my favorite highlighters right now. This is the Burberry in Rose Gold. I'm gonna focus this on the inner corner of the eye. So we want to keep that eye still open in the inner corner. We don't want it to get dark in there. I'm also going to pop a little bit right underneath my brow right here. Now, Bozo Mascara. Yeah. I like this mascara, you guys. It's a winner. It's a winner. Whoa. I don't think I like the mascara on my bottom lashes. I think it makes them way too black and way too long. As I'm saying, like, this mascara is bomb. It's bomb for your upper lashes, but dude, I feel like it's so intense. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take my Urban Decay 24-7 waterline in the nude color. What color is it? Walk of Shame. All right, I think I toned them down a little bit. I kind of just, like, wiped them. Like, I'm going to look at the footage after, and I'm going to see it, but dang. Okay, really nice mascara for the top lashes. If you have little bitty lashes on the bottom, then you might like this, but... Oh, it made mine like really dark and long that I was like, oh, this feels really bottom heavy, you know? There is a completed eye look. Now let's go ahead and find a lip color. All right, so I decided to keep it a little bit with Pat McGrath and I have some products that I hauled. This is the Ultra Lip Pencil in Supernatural right here. That's a nude. And then I also grabbed, I love the packaging <laughs> that she did. Um, this is 1995 and the lipsticks are so luxurious. So I thought this would be a pretty color. We want to keep things relatively natural, neutral, natural, no, neutral on the lips because we got a lot going on the eyes. Now going into 1995, but this thing is so pretty and I can't get over like the look of it. It's so like matte, like it looks matte. It looks like a sponge, I don't know. It's like the texture on it, but it just glides right on. Oh my gosh, I found my new favorite lipstick. Been dying to use this, but I'm like, no Madison, you gotta wait for a video. Now I can use it. All right, so this is a completed makeup look. I have to say like for Grinchmas, I wish there was a little bit more of a reddish color and not so much of a burgundy in it. But I think if I had a true red with this, I don't think it would look as good. I really love the tones, the coolness of it. And I think it turned out really, really pretty. Like I am so happy with this. The palettes are amazing. Like honestly, the two shades that I used in here were awesome. The shades that I used in the Marc Jacobs one was amazing. The shades that I used in the Cap On D one was amazing. So I'm very impressed with everything that I used. Also the lipsticks, lipstick and lip liner, definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. This is like a holy grail nude and that lip liner is so creamy too, but not too creamy to where it's gonna wipe off. It just glides on really easily and like stays put. All right, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this Grinchmas inspired morning routine and makeup tutorial. And don't forget to download Panda Pop in the link down below. I'm obsessed with it, like no joke, play it every single morning and night. I even talk about it a little bit on my vlog, which I don't know when that's gonna be up because I did like a little bit of a behind the scenes of of decorating the house today and I was filming a morning routine. I didn't film enough of that, but there is some decorating in there, but I'm obsessed with the game. I guarantee you, you will get hooked too. It's very addicting and it's so much fun. It's so much fun and the little baby pandas are absolutely adorable. So you gotta save them from the baboon. Yeah, baboon is a bad guy. Also a quick little note that I just actually am like throwing this in right now because I was taking my makeup pictures and I was like, oh my goodness. This eye look looks very familiar. And I was like, why does this look look so familiar? Then I thought about it and I checked Roxette's Instagram. Yep, 
looks very similar to Roxette's look. So, you guys, this look is unconsciously inspired by Roxette's makeup look that she did on her channel a little bit ago. This is what I get for watching all her videos. I just didn't even think about it, and I was taking the picture. I was like, oh my goodness, why does this look so familiar? And, yeah, I think it's because we both use that same green eyeshadow in here which makes it look very like tied together so I'm gonna have her video of her tutorial which is amazing link down below for you guys I love you Roxette I guess I'm just channeling Roxette 24 7 but yeah so I also want to add that in and then also you guys make sure to enter the giveaway over on my Instagram I will insert a little picture here of it all the rules will be over there on my Instagram on how to enter and again a huge thank you to Jam City and Panda Pop for collaborating with me on this video and yeah, if you guys enjoyed it and you want to see like more fun morning or night routines, then please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!